Hello beautiful, welcome to Beauty by Mariana. My name is Miriam. I'm a certified makeup artist, a tarot reader, and a curly hair enthusiast slash haver of... Haver of curly hair? Curly hair? Haver? <laughs> Either way. Today's video is going to be all about the curly hair journey and how I got my hair back from the depth of straightening hell. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a lot of hair growth tips and how I really got my curls back to actually being curly because as you guys are going to see in several embarrassing high school photos, the curl kind of went away. And I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of the things that I used. In fact, I have a box of products. I love show and tell. Show and tell makes me so happy. Now, before I start off my videos, I like to do either a mini oracle reading or a mini tarot reading just to kind of give you guys some positive vibes and to give you something to, you know, take away with for your day or for your night, just to, just to feel good. How does that, how does that Lizzo song go? Feeling good as hell? I, mm, we're, 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 we're trying to talk about that. <laughs> So before you guys head on over to the video, uh, I just want to let you know that if you guys are not down for the tarot vibes, absolutely glorious. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description box to the timestamp where we start with the curls. Please like this video, hit the subscribe button so we can go on many magical adventures together. And grab your wine, grab your tea, grab your coffee. This is LA, so grab your kombucha or green juice. All right, my gorgeous people, I have for you today three cards and a very inspirational message. Uh, I just want you guys to know that before I do my tarot readings, I usually will do like a little meditation, kind of like a what do I need to pull out today, and usually I'll pull out my cards, go about my day. Today, my cards assaulted me, you guys. They literally flew out and like two of them hit me smack in the face. Like there's a little dab of highlighter just to prove it. And they were like, okay, bitch, this is what you need to hear, and this is what you're going to be telling people. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, just don't hurt me, please. <sighs> There's going to be a lot of weirdness. So the cards that came out flew out at me today, starting off with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a lot of ambition, a lot of drive. It's essentially the need to win. But are we winning at a cost of fairness or are we winning and sacrificing everything else and setting everything behind us on fire? And the moon is, you know, the moon is confirming. The moon is telling us that follow your intuition and, you know, you know that you're doing either the right thing or sometimes we don't do the right thing and that's okay. We're all human. But the moon is saying that, you know, hey, when you are following your intuition and you're doing what you really feel is the best thing, the most honest thing to do, you will find the way. You will find the guidance. It's all going to be good. It's good. It's good. Bruce Almighty. Love that movie. Wrapping up with the Page of Wands, which is a really great card, you guys. It's adventure, it's fearlessness, it's new ideas, it's everything that is just happy and cheerful and brand spanking new. And, you know, once we have kind of gotten through that winning at all costs, take it or leave it, like burn the house down, when we kind of do it with a sense of fairness and with a sense of really wanting the best, we're going to get the best, and the best is the Page of Cups, so, so many new ideas, beautiful beginnings, just a lot of happiness and joy here. Alright guys, I hope that really resonated with you. Please leave a comment below how you guys felt about that. Thank you so much for watching, and let's get on to da -da -da, the curls. So my official hair journey started at the end of middle school, you know, kind of when people realize that they actually have hair that needs to be done beyond just like your mom putting it in a ponytail and being like, bye honey, love you. And you know, back in the day, this was 
age, give or take. Yeah, around 2007. I just gave away my age. Don't tell anyone, it's our secret. <laughs> and the style back in that day was long, luscious, super straight, like JLo vibes hair. And I did not have super straight JLo vibes hair. I had the curly, who was it? Mariah Carey, like Christmas video esque 90s hair. And I was like, this? This is this is not working for me, honey. Like this is this this is not. This is just not. So I decided to straighten the shit out of my hair. Not only straighten the shit out of it, I bought one of those like wet to dry flat irons. You guys know those like old school Conair ones. And every single morning I would wake up at 5 30 a.m. like clockwork and I would just sizzle and fry and burn the shit out of I literally I fried it to the point you guys where it smelled like bacon it smelled like I was making breakfast in my bathroom every single morning <laughs> like my grandma came in a couple of times and she was like what are you doing in there it smells horrible and I was flattening it to the point where the ends turned white. I don't know if that's ever happened, you guys. I really hope not. But, you know, I wasn't using any hair products because I didn't really know what they were. You know, and if I did, I didn't know how to use them. I wasn't using conditioner because, once again, I had no idea. I was, like, applying it to my scalp and wondering why my hair was oily. So I was like, I can never use this. It's terrible. <laughs> And I was using the most basic, like, drugstore shampoo, the one that smelled like it was either strawberries or cherries, and I was like, mm, yes, this must go on my head. And not just that, I also dyed, oh my god, you guys, I dyed my hair probably all colors of the rainbow that you could think of. I even bleached it blonde. Now, here come the embarrassing pictures that I promised you, but before that, I'm just going to take a sip of wine because... A big sip of wine because these are, mm, girl, I'm ready. Are you ready? So here's one. This is the first one. This is the one where I actually just first started dyeing my hair. It was red. It was bright red. As you guys can see, it was super straight. Uh, another one where I decided to go on a shopping spree at Walmart. And I was like, I'm going to bleach my hair and it's going to look so good. It's going to look like Britney. It did not look like Britney. <laughs> and this continued all the way through the end of high school. And the only reason that I really stopped doing it at the end of high school was because I was a senior and I was just not feeling that shit. Like waking up every single morning, I was like, <laughs> bye Felicia. Ain't nobody got time for that. The fun part is when I moved to LA at the end of senior year, I went through a whole ass renaissance, you guys. Uh, this is when I discovered dating apps. I was dating, like, I literally had a different date every night. <laughs> I was like, I want to meet everybody. And I was like, I am a whole new person. I don't know who you are. Who is Miriam? Like, new phone number. Um, who this? So I went to my friend, Adaveda. She was actually there in school at the time. And I was like, okay, chop it layer it make it gorgeous and you guys she did make it it was so beautiful it was stunning the haircut she's so talented but you know once again my hair was straight at, at that point I might as well have just put it into a toaster which probably would have been cheaper than the expensive ass flat iron that I bought so let's get real but you guys will be proud of me I was actually using hair products ah! I was using heat protectant Finally, because I read about it online, I think I actually watched a YouTube video, it was like the Chi one, and still was not using conditioner, still was using super cheap drugstore shampoo, but at least we had heat protectants. At least there's something. There's some hope. More wine. Now, this went on all the way. Up until actually quarantine, like a lot of us, I was like, I really want to go back to my normal hair. Like, I am so tired of straightening it and destroying it. I just, I just want my curls back. <laughs> Baby, come back. I forgot how the rest of the song goes. <laughs> and you guys, I went down the rabbit 
whole, I, oh my god, I spent my life on YouTube for like a month. And I tried so many different things and techniques. Uh, I tried the apple cider vinegar rinse, which by the way is pretty great, but it dried the shit out of my hair. Uh, then I also tried the rice water that the Yao women are very famous for. Did not work. Smelled like dying cabbage. <laughs> you guys, it's time for the box. Ah, I'm so excited. <gasps> yes, the box. So my very first tip for all of you beautiful ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hate me for this. I hate me for this. <laughs> Let's get real. When I first heard it on YouTube, I was like, shut up. Why are you saying this? Like, this is not factual. It's factual. Guys, if you have dead ends, split ends, dead hair, heat damage, cut that shit off. Now, don't worry, no matter what length your hair is, no matter where in the process, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, so, you know, don't be afraid to chop off the dead ends. Your hair is stunning, hunty, stunning. Like, girl, I'm jealous. I'm jealous, okay? My second tip to you guys is to treat your scalp the way that you do your skin. So, we do so much for our skin. We put treatments and masks and creams and, and washes and brushes and free, like literally everything. I'm pretty sure that my skincare compartment is like more expensive everything than the rent on my house. That's a little scary. I mean obviously I collected it over the years but still. So my second tip to you beautiful people is to use oils. And all of these oils are available on Amazon. I'm going to link them down below in the description box for you guys. So you can also get your hands on them. So the first one that I really have been loving is Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Now, Jamaican Black Castor Oil is really great for growing the hair. It strengthens the hair follicles as well. The second one that I have been using to combine with this is Jojoba Oil. Now, jojoba oil is really great for moisturizing, obviously. Um, it's really great as well for the scalp. It really moisturizes the scalp, and a moisturized scalp is a happy scalp. The last oil oil that I combine that one with is argan oil. Argan oil is incredible for hydration. And I mix those three oils, I'm like, you guys, I have so much stuff in my box. I feel like it's like literally a magician's hat. <laughs> I mix those oils in with rosemary oil. This is rosemary essential oil. It's also really great for hair growth as well. It smells amazing. Love it. I will combine that with a little bit of lavender oil. Just, just a couple drops, not too overwhelming. This is great for hair growth as well. It's also very good for softening the hair. And last but certainly not least, I put peppermint oil. Now, peppermint oil is a magical, beautiful goddess. <laughs> it gives you that kind of tingly sensation. Before I go any further, I want to tell you a little bit about my hair because the things that I have in this magical box of goodness is geared towards my fine hair. Uh, I have 3A, 3B curly hair. It is, I would say, medium density. And for those of you guys that have thicker hair or, you know, that have a, a different curl pattern, you can definitely uh, take this stuff and modify it to your hair consistency. Tip number three is actually hair massage. Hair massage is so good for your hair. It stimulates the follicles. It helps your hair to grow. It promotes a healthy scalp. And it just feels so good. <laughs> I like to use a scalp massager because uh, my lazy ass is not trying to sit there and like use my fingers. And you know, I'm, honestly, like sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. This guy is really soft. It's not like harsh bristles or anything, and it feels so good on your head. I also do the massage when I'm in the shower, when I have my shampoo, conditioner, etc. I'll use my little Max Soft guy again, and you know that really helps to get all the buildup off the scalp. I have not had severely oily hair in a while, thanks to this little dude. Tip number four. This is so important. So important. 
condition your hair condition your hair deep conditioner is king for my fine curly hair uh, i deep condition about once a week if you guys have more thick hair more coarse hair you know definitely do it twice a week three times a week you know depending on your dryness I have gone through many deep conditioners and I find that it's, first of all, it's very hard to find products for fine hair sometimes because when people think curly hair, they think that like thick, like super thick hair and a lot of people have that, but you know, for the fine curlies out there, it can be a little challenging. Like I'm going to write a letter to my senator and be like, hi, excuse me, this is unacceptable. Like we are people too. Anyway. Drama over. Pour wine. <laughs> I really hope that you guys are sipping on something with me and that I'm not just being crazy here alone. Now, I do deep conditioning two ways. One, when I'm in the shower, instead of using regular conditioner, I'll just put it on my hair, shove on a cap, and, you know, go about my business, shave my legs, body scrub, do all that beautifying, glorious things. Or... I will uh, wet my hair down and then I will put on like a plastic cap and I'll put on my deep conditioner and then I'll hit it with a blow dryer for about maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most, depending on my level of laziness. Let's get real. And I'll leave that on for another 10 to 15 minutes while it's already warm just so that it really soaks in. Let me show you guys the deep conditioners that I have really been loving. The first one is, <laughs> this is awful. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Haha. -ha. With shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. Bam. This stuff is incredible. It makes your hair so soft, so luscious. It really, also it helps split ends a lot, you guys. It really does. It's also free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, petroleum. Basically, no nasty shit in here. Guaranteed. The second one is actually also from Shea Moisture. And this is the... All of their products are like so detailed. I love it. But when you have to say it, it's like... Aw. Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Whew. Oh, that was a workout with Mafura and Baobab. Ba 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 bob, little bob, bob, bob. Baobab oil. And again, this is no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oils, no nasty shit. Um, and these are also on the low end price spectrum, which is incredible. Shea Moisture, guys, super inexpensive, makes amaze balls products. This one is actually from Sephora. This is the brand Together Beauty. It is the Dreamer Overnight Repair Mask, and it repairs, strengthens, and hydrates. And all, all of these products, you guys, uh, they have no parabens, no sulfates. Uh, I'm trying not to use parabens or sulfates for my hair. This Dreamer Overnight Repair Mask, I use it in the shower for about 10 minutes because it's very potent. Uh, you can definitely use it overnight as well. This smells like peppermint. It's really great for strengthening, for moisturizing. My hair comes out like silk after this guy. Last one is by Fable and Main, and this is called Holly Roots Hair Mask. And this one is very rich. Now, be warned, guys, it's very, very emollient, like packed with amazing things, but for fine hair, it can weigh down a little bit. I keep this in my hair for no more than I would say about eight minutes. The way that you sleep matters. I have been sleeping with a silk pillowcase, satin, silk or satin. I also have been sleeping with a silk lined bonnet. That's this guy. I'm also going to link her below. She comes in a lot of different colors and she is adjustable. Yes. When I don't put my hair up in a ponytail because sometimes I want to let my hair rest, uh, I'll put on my bonnet and, you know, it's really great because it doesn't cause frizz it doesn't like create friction the way that a normal pillowcase would because it's silk and it's satin it's also really great for retaining moisture by the way which is super important for next day hair 
And I don't have my silk pillowcase with me, guys, unfortunately, but I will definitely link it below. I bought two. I'm pretty sure they were like $10. Absolutely glorious. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure being with you guys today, having a glass of wine or two or ten. Live, live your best life, girl. Live your best life. Please like this video if it helped you, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm very excited to get to know you guys more and to really talk all about hair and makeup and many, many magical things with plenty of sass and sarcasm. I promise you that. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao, beautiful.